UFC 185, Anthony Showtime Pettis defends his UFC lightweight crown against Rafael Dos Anjos. Impressive performance for Rafael Dos Anjos. This is a really excellent fight. Anthony Pettis is the UFC lightweight champion of the world. Anthony Showtime Pettis is so precise with his kicks and punches. I have this instinct for that kill shot. You know, I find these guys' chins, I find the submissions, I make them happen, and that's why I'm winning these fights. Drop down for a watch out. Trying to choke him out. It is Master, all it over. Is, got it. Anthony Pettis remains the UFC lightweight champion of the world. Unbelievable. In my last couple fights, I've ended in submissions, but I'm a striker, so uh, my ultimate goal is to get that knockout. Oh, oh, that's it! It's gonna that's finish! It. That's and it. it is all over! Wow. Huge knockout for Anthony Pettis! Wow! He has confidence and flair that are literally unparalleled. My skill set is different than most guys in my division, and it's hard to prepare for a guy like me. Who do you find that can spar like me? Who do you find that can fight the way I fight, do the things that I do? There's a kick! Hey. Hey. He is so fast with his kicks. You have to rewind some of the fights that you watch him in just to see how he sets things up because he does things 10 to 20% faster than anybody else in the division. And at 28 years old, Anthony Pettis continues to grow and improve every time we see him in the octagon. Every day I can show him one little detail and he just soaks it in and he masters it and he, he puts his flair of showtime on it and he takes an idea, I give it, and then he owns it and, and makes it his move. My ultimate goal in the UFC is to uh, prove that I'm the pound for pound best. <laughs> I know he has amazing stand-up game. He has, he's so creative. He's a champion, but I respect him as a person, not like on the octagon. He's hurt bad. He's hurt bad. Now watch out. Rafael Dos Anjos is an extremely aggressive fighter, pushes a very rapid pace, and is very strong for the division. I beat the, like the top guys, you know, I fight in the best. I, I won the eight of the last nine fights. Rafael Dos Anjos! He has legit knockout power. He has a high-level black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. His wrestling is excellent with fantastic submission skills and world-class Muay Thai. You no, know, I've been on the game for a long time. My experience will be making a lot of difference on this fight. Beautiful combination there. And then lands a nice double knee. A lot of Brazilian fans, American fans, they always like uh, believe in me, you know, and say I'm gonna be Paris, and I will. I really feel it's my time is to arrive, you know, and I'm gonna get that belt, gonna be the first Brazilian lightweight champion. He is focused and driven right now. Dos Anjos is at the top of his game. Oh, this to Benson Henderson before. I believe Rafael today is the best guy in the lightweight division, 100%. And for me, Pettis, he got the toughest fight in his life. I know how dangerous he is, but I know what I bring to the table, and I feel like mine is just going to surpass his skill set. It's good that he coming with that confidence, but he never faked somebody like me. Dos Anjos all over him. They don't call me Showtime for no reason. You know, I'm putting it all on the line. I'm not afraid to take risks. And that's why people tune in to watch these fights. Every time I fight, they know it's showtime. A picture of poise and calmness, as always, as Carla Esparza makes the walk to the octagon for the biggest fight of her professional life. In every fight for me, I'm always really nervous because you never know what can happen. Everybody's different. I feel like, for me, I need that fear in me, fear through my body, because it makes me sharper. What a championship fight we have got here in front of us tonight as we crown our first UFC strawweight champion. Are you ready? You ready? Fight! Nice fly kick there. Nice takedown from Esparza. Back and forth they go. Nice combination by Esparza. Furious pace here early. And this is what Esparza does. She shuts you down. Oh, big shots raining down for Esparza. Namajunas hanging tough. And now Esparza has the back, maybe working on a crank here. Nama Yunus trying to push that elbow out. She's the tap. Carla Esparza is the UFC strawweight champion of the world. 
I think I've reached basically the highest point that I can as a fighter, being the UFC champion. But as my coach says, getting the belt hard, keeping the belt even harder. And I guess I'll find out. I have my first contender coming up, and it's always going to be hard. There's always going to be people hungry for what I have. God gave me some talent, and yeah, I'm here. And nobody can stop me. I'm so confident. I want to show everyone that I'm the best. I'm confident to going into this fight because I know what I've been through in my fight career. I've prepared, I work hard. So far, it's uh, served me well. Carla works incredibly hard. You know, when she throws a medicine ball at you full force, you can see why she's number one in the world. She translates that strength and power from wrestling very, very, very well. And I think that shocks a lot of people when they get in the ring with her. She can punch with whoever she needs to punch with, and she can wrestle, and she can roll with whoever. So I think for her, the sky's the limit because she has a lot more skills than people imagine. Glorious punches there from as far as a Schneider taking it out. Now she's coming back to the right I think it's going to be Tough fight with uh, Carla. Everyone is talking about her good wrestling, but I do not care. She can be even five, ten times world wrestling champion. I'm gonna be better. That's a warrior right there, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, man, where did that come from? I'm just a tough fighter, you know, and I do not gonna give up. Even you can break my hand, I do not gonna give up. She has some sick striking, really good takedown defense. She is one of the best fighters in the world, so it's definitely going to be a challenge for me. My hands are dangerous, so she must be ready. And she must keep her hands up. Oh! oh big right hand! Perfect shot! Each time you fight, someone's coming out there to put you down and to take you out. So for me, I just got to stay sharp. It's not going to be an easy fight, but I'm ready for it, and I just want to walk through the octagon and beat her up. Oh, beautiful uppercut! She got rocked! I always want to be the best, so if I'm gonna be the best with the title, so then I must have it. And For me, being the UFC champion is always what I wanted because I always wanted to be number one, and defending my belt will prove that I am, without a doubt, the number one in the world. Johnny Hendricks versus Matt Brown. This fight is an outstanding fight between two of the very best contenders in the UFC's welterweight division. Johnny! Johnny Hendricks had the title-winning victory over Robbie Lawler and then lost the title, a split decision rematch. Oh, man, they are winging at each other. I thought I won. That's whenever I told myself uh, that won't happen again. Oh, my goodness! George is in big, big trouble here, Mike! I want to get back to that title, and nothing's going to get in the way of that. He touches guys, and they go flying like he's got magic in his hands. Matt Brown has done it again! There's no boring Matt Brown fights. They don't exist. The dude is a wild man. That guy's an animal. I just want to constantly evolve, and I think the only way to do that is to put myself out there. I want to do one step further than whatever else is doing. Matt Brown is so intense and so crazy and so aggressive. If you found out that Matt Brown was fighting heavyweight, he'd be like, man, he might win. What a battle! What a fight! I'm scared of Johnny Hendricks, you know? I'm, I'm afraid that he's working harder than me. I'm, I'm afraid that he's better than me. There is no motivation like fear, right? As I get closer to the fight, I'm gonna be more and more scared until the bell rings, and then the fear's gone. Now he's gotta be afraid of me. I want that bell back, and I know how to get it. Now it's time to prove it. UFC lightweight champion, Anthony Showtime Pettis. He ran off the wall like a ninja! Will face his next challenge, who aims to be a showstopper. On March 14th, welcome Can you believe it? to the show. Lightweight champion Anthony Pettis takes on number one contender Rafael Dos Anjos for the UFC title.